to local restaurants want to make sure they do not lose customers when the weather gets cooler. All new at 11, Gila Malama looks at the new additions meant to help you eat outside all year long. Weather is becoming the latest obstacle for restaurants in an already tough year. Jay McCarthy ordered heat lamps for the place months ago. Back in July, I knew it was going to be an issue with the cold setting in, outdoor dining, what we're doing to stay open right now. But he never used them. He was told by the city that propane heat lamps are not allowed. Buffalo Common Council member Joel Farrelletto is asking for the Department of Permits and Inspections to issue guidance on outdoor heat lamps by October 6th. Farrelletto says it will be an opportunity to help the food industry. When it gets cooler out, people do not seek out the outdoor seating and less so for inside. New York City approved the use of electric and propane heaters for outdoor dining last week. Those were previously not allowed. McCarthy sold his original lamps and says many are now on back order. So now the next hurdle amongst all the other hurdles is now finding outdoor heaters as well. Some restaurants have been getting creative when it comes to keeping guests warm. And this will give us more space to have more customers come in during the colder time. Capo put up these 10 greenhouses to help keep diners warm. Assistant manager Elise Stephen Piper says they have space heaters in them, but on the recent warmer nights, the doors and windows can stay open for ventilation. That will let Tapo seat up to 80 customers. Well, it's keeping our business up and running um, and giving us space to have our loyal customers and new customers come in and out. Chippewa Street is another option for outdoor Door dining. The city extended the street closure between Delaware and Franklin through October 12th. In Buffalo, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.